All right, guys, so we have our XFi gateway that just came in. And what you want to do is obviously hook in the power cord to the back. And you also need to find where you're going to be plugging in to your cable access point. And it says right here in the instructions before you begin, locate the cable wall outlet that you plan to use for your connection. Now, if you're having trouble finding exactly where your access point is, I'll walk you through how I was able to find my particular access point, which is going to be this cable that's coming up through the floor. If you're having trouble trying to find exactly where to hook in your internet modem, it might help to go outside of your house and find exactly where the cable is entering in. So this is a cable line that's coming over to my home from the utility pole. It runs down the wall and then eventually it enters into the basement. So then down in my basement, I can see where that cable line is coming in and then it runs along the wall and eventually I can tell where it's entering in into the first level of my house so then I can go find the internet access point over in that spot. And then here it is coming through the floor and eventually I'm able to find the end of that internet cable that was running from the utility line. And this is what I'm going to be screwing into the back of my new Xfinity modem. Now yours might not be a line, it might just be an outlet box that you're gonna have to screw into. But either way, it's kind of helpful to find exactly where that line is coming in so you can get a good idea of where you're gonna be plugging in for that self installation. So once we have our tower ready to go and we're gonna be plugging it into the wall as well as hooking it into our cable access point but we need to follow the steps and we're going to do this activating the x5 gateway application so i'm going to take you over to my phone and walk you through the next steps in this process to activate the x5 gateway so over on your phone you're going to want to launch the google play store if you have android or the apple app store if you have an iphone and when we open up whichever app downloader that you have on your phone what we wanna search for is the Xfinity XFi application. So that's what we're gonna type in here at the top. The Xfinity XFi application, I'm gonna go ahead and click install. And then we can open up the XFi application right here from the installation page. So I'm gonna click open. And then it says, welcome, get ready to change the way you Wi-Fi with a whole new way of personalizing and controlling your home network. So we're going to click sign in. And after you sign in using your Xfinity username as well as password, which is what you should have set up when you made the purchase of Xfinity XFi, it'll take a little bit of time to load, but then it says time to get your new gateway up and running. Let's get you set up. This shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes. So let's click get started. And it says, identify your gateway, use your phone's camera to scan the QR code located on the bottom of your gateway. So I'm gonna click use camera. And that QR code is gonna be located right at the bottom of your XFi gateway. So we're gonna line this up and take a photo. And then it says, find an active cable outlet. So once you do that, click next. Maximize your Wi-Fi by avoiding cramped spaces and make sure your gateway is placed at least a few feet off of the floor. Click next. And then connect the coax cable into the back of the XFi gateway. And then click next. And then plug the power cable into the back of your gateway and then of course the other end into an electrical outlet. And that should look something like this with the coax cable screwed into the back of your XFi router as well as the power cord plugged in both to the back of the XFi gateway as well as into the wall. Once you have that, click ready to go and then click check connection. Then you're gonna have to enter in a Wi-Fi name as well as a Wi-Fi password. So this is gonna be the name of your wireless router as well as the password that you're gonna type in whenever you're hooking in to your Wi-Fi. So make sure it's a name that you'll recognize as well as a password that you can remember. And then we're pretty much in the home stretch here where now Xfinity is going to go through and set up your service as well as your Wi-Fi to your XFi modem. And this will just take a little bit of time as Xfinity sets up your wireless router. And then it's finishing up and you should be good to go once you reach this point where it has officially set up your network and you get that little green check mark. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. And if you're having any issues with finishing up the setup of your XFi router, I recommend contacting and getting a technician to come out to your home and I'll have information linked for that down in the video description.